So children, question number 1.7. How much copper can be obtained from 100 grams of copper sulphate? It's a very simple question. So for this, we are going to first find out the molecular mass of copper sulphate. So here, we'll write down molecular mass of copper sulphate is equal to mass of one copper atom plus mass of one sulfur atom plus mass of four oxygen atoms. So now we need to substitute the values. Here we have only one copper atom, so 1 into 63.5, which is the atomic mass of copper, plus mass of one sulfur atom, so 1 into 32, plus 4 oxygen atoms into the mass of oxygen. When we calculate this, your mass is going to be 159.5 gram per mole. So here we have this as the molecular mass of copper sulphate. So now we can write that in this much of copper sulphate, the content of copper atom is this much. Therefore, in 100 grams, how much of copper will be there? So we'll use unitary method and we're going to solve it. So here we'll write 159.5 gram per mole of Copper sulphate contains 63.5 grams of copper. Therefore, how much is asked in a question? 100 grams. So here, 100 grams of copper sulphate contains X. And that is what we are going to find out. So by unitary method, when we do, we just have to cross multiply. So 65.5 into 100 divided by 159.5. When we solve this, your answer is going to be 39.8 grams. So here we can tell that 39.8 grams of copper is obtained from 100 grams of copper sulfate. So this way you can solve the simple problem by first solving the molecular mass. Then we compare with the given data and find out how much of copper is required from a given amount of copper sulphate.